Welcome back to the final of the 2011 Pudsey Classic. Matt Jones has just moved the score to 9-10, so let's cross back to your commentators, Jack Dyson, but first, Keith Hatzer. Yeah, he, he seemed to have played this length uh, all night consistently, and he's, he's, he's got this away, sweet as you know, he's bang on the track. I don't know if he's found enough, Keith. Yeah, he, he, he's Can obviously he drifting because he's short, but he's... No, mate, it's still coming. It's just a bit big. Yeah, Length's good. Maybe two foot short. On Callum's foot actually come thumb peg, which uh, was swinging off the off the bank there. If he's a length, yeah, it's well a good ball. Fair ball. Take a bit of beating that over that distance. Uh, Matt's stuck with the jack peg, which is sent out. Uh, he's whipped it now. It won't drop. It won't drop back this jack. No, he's he's, he's got a ball narrow now and. See that, the thing that most people don't understand about this game, Keith, when watching is that you only need to miss the road by an absolute fraction and you can end up, well, like those balls there. He, he's obviously missed the road fractionally with his first and ended up two and a half yards wide and he's done the same with his second narrow. Mm, and, and he's actually given Callum he's definitely seen sort of eight yard circumference to count two and he's played two within a yard. It's done well to uh, bring the game back, Keith. It were looking... Ah, uh, Ray's played one here. Yeah, he's played a He's going to have to try and hit it. Yeah. I don't actually know. Oh, he's missed. He's, he's over the top, surely. Oh, he's, oh, he's two down now. He's hit it wrong. He's oh, hit it wrong. That is a... Uh, and he's gone two down. It didn't deserve that. But I actually don't think... It were never on time. anything out. You run the risk of being shot if you do. Mm, Callum up after it again. I, I don't yeah, think he's yeah, as far, yeah, but he'll. Yeah, I'm sure he'll make one, Keith. Just, yeah, just, just got one. Yeah, he's he's, just, like he's like just trying to save that. He's far enough. Right, well, you what, Jack? He's nearly leaked it. He's nearly leaked it with a dead end. Can he just drop back off the crown? What a <sighs> great ball. Dead length. Dead length. I'm, I don't think that's quite won it. Yes, oh, Callum know. signals to the crowd. Yeah, he's, he's showboating like he always does. 15-9, yeah, Callum. Yes, he's, he's looked good. Looked good all night. In the semi, in the semi final, I mean, obviously Callum rates six to one against Gary Ellis. I mean, Gary, oh, Gary Ellis, country's number one for me. And then obviously they've gone like three to one, three to one Marju and seven to one Matt Jones, and both outsiders in semi finals and. Uh, have come through and won. And then it's gone 2 to 5, 7 to 4. Matt Jones is worried now. He's looking at the score, shaking his head. He'll be facing 2 down here, I'm sure, Keith. He's gonna, well, he's going to be facing 19 9 down, Jack. <laughs> it's just as simple as that, really. Yeah. He just needs to play a pearl just to sort of stay in the game. Well, I'm having too far. I'm having him too far. Well, he's a mile too far, has he? He's playing an absolute round one, two. He's 19-9. Yeah. Uh, he game with these. It, it could only be... Ooh, no, no, it's still two. Like, it's still two. Game. He's to try and save. I don't think he's here, Jack. I think he's short. I think he's played an absolute no ball. Yeah, that's it. The game's over. Yeah, weighed in. Two to eight. Absolutely. Yes, fist and shake back. of the fist. Yeah. Applause from the crowd. Callum Ray is Callum the Ray. 2011 Putsy Classic champion. Yeah, great performance really tonight. I mean, uh, I did speak to him before. I did beat Gary Ellis. He said, it's no point beating him off if you can't do the job. And he's certainly done the job in the final. Congratulations to Callum Ray and uh, well done Jack, you've napped a winner. Yeah, so there we go, <laughs> the final of the 2011 Putsy Classic and uh, a new winner in Callum Ray in the final. Uh, commentary throughout that game was by Jack Dyson and Keith Hart. So what do we make of that then, fellas? Well, from my point of view, Matt Jones didn't do too much wrong at the beginning of the game. Callum Ray produced some fantastic firing shots to either kill the end or remove Matt Jones's balls, demoralised him and just leapt on from there and bang, 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 jobs are good. Yeah, definitely. Striking seems to be such a big part of the game now. Is it just one of those things or has he hit everything tonight? Has that made the difference? Uh, I think I think striking's been in the game a, you know, a lot. Down. I think it's a speciality on lots of people and, it, and it's a big, massive confidence booster for people when they're playing the game. I mean, it shows how well you are playing when you don't miss a strike. I mean, obviously... You'll you'll see the semi final with Gary Ellis. I, I've never seen him miss five on the trot mm. as he did with Callum. And you know, obviously, it, it, it burdens on the way you play the game. 
Definitely. And going back to um, it's our first time at Pudsey with the cameras, has that played any impact, do you think, on Callum's game? Likes to play up for the cameras. We know that he's been there before and the TV yeah, sometimes make a difference. Yeah, I mean, Callum's a massive show, but... But man, and once it, if it's going your way, it's uh, it's it's absolutely fantastic, you know. Uh, but uh, today and well tonight, Cal Callum's played well. I mean, Matt's Matt's just done one thing wrong, and uh, for me, and uh, which is crucial in this game, it, he's not sent the jack far enough at nine ten, two down, and and as far as I saw, then it were it were it were get, it were game yeah one Definitely, way traffic yeah. get, game over. OK, excellent. So there you have the final of the Pudsey Classic 2011. Fantastic commentary from these two, and I hope you've all enjoyed watching it. Please welcome our winner of the 2011 Pudsey Classic, Callum Raitt. Uh, I'd just like to say a few words. Um, firstly, um, a massive thank you to Andy Hodgson. Um, I think him and his team of helpers here do a fantastic job in in running this great tournament. It's a superb tournament, and in my opinion, one of the easier, one of the best on the circuit. Um, I'd also thank to, like to thank the sponsors, um, because without them, we haven't got a, a great prize money to play for. And you wouldn't get all the top players travelling up here to play for it. Um, also, I mean, the groundsman, I don't know who he is, but what a fantastic job he does on that green. <laughs> Every time I come here, the green's absolutely immaculate. And um, it's never, never, never a problem with it. But also, I'd just like to thank the people that support me as well tonight. Um, I needed them at certain times in that final, and uh, especially in the semi final, playing the best player in the game. So, um, yeah, thanks very much. I look forward to coming back next year. Cheers. Yeah, I'm joined now with Matt Jones, runner-up in the 2011 Pudsey Classic. Um, a great night's worth of bowling, Matt. You've beat some good players tonight. Just fell short in the final, but what do you think about your performance tonight? Uh, I think I've bowled well, to be honest. Uh, corners have got me out of trouble a few times, and... Green's, green's in good nick. Yes, yeah, it always plays nice, and those corners are tricky, and you put them close all night, especially that game against Scott Fisher. I thought you bowled, bowled particularly well. Yeah, well, I was worried against Scott, really, because he knows green, a lot of green knowledge. I've seen him play at South Leeds the other yeah. week where he won it, and yeah, but yeah, confident. A game too far in the final, or was Callum just a bit too good? Absolutely too far. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too far. Oh, but it's been a great run, a good qualifying session, and then a good performance yeah. tonight. And I think you probably uh, maybe surprised one or two who don't know you up this end. I hope so. Yeah, so and we'll have you back this year, definitely. next year. Definitely. Brilliant, Matt. Thanks very much. Thank you. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we're just grabbing one final word now with our 2011 Putty Classic winner. Ten past eleven Saturday night, but it's been a good night and well worth watching. Callum, great performance this evening. You've bowled well all night. Obviously, bowled well in qualifying. How can you sum up tonight's performance? Um, tonight I've played, you know, I've played fairly well tonight. But I mean, I always come in, I always play the green fairly good. Uh, I'm very confident on the green. I've got a couple of marks which just suit me. Um, so yeah, tonight I've played, I played pretty well. I think, I think the big game for me was obviously semi-final against Gary Ellis. Um, I played really well, especially the start of the game. Go 17-6 up on him. You know, done the job. Then I just got to consolidate that lead, and and I finished it off well. You know, in the final, I think it helped to play a mat. It was like his first major final tonight. Yeah. Um, so I managed to get after a few early on and put him under a bit of pressure, knowing that obviously, like I was when I was in my first major final, he'd be a bit bit edgy and a bit nervous. And um, yeah, and, and that helped really. And I had a big lead early on and, and managed to sustain it and, and come out a comfortable winner. Yeah, definitely. Like you're saying about the game with Gary Ellis, you set off really, really well. But you can never put that man down, can you? He came back and chipped away a little bit. Unfortunately, just have a big enough lead. And then going into the final, he says with Matt, maybe his first final, maybe didn't know too much about the green, and that bullying showman attitude came out and got yeah. after a few, which is always good to see. Yeah, well, that's I mean, that's a summary, really, of, of, of the night, as you said. I mean, first game, I struggled. I didn't think I played very well, really, first game, but I managed just to get over the line. Sometimes your first game in tournament can always be, you know, the one where you need to get over, whereas 
quarterfinal was a big game for me. I'm playing Ashley Dakin, somebody who I've got a real poor record against. Yeah. Never beat Ashley. In fact, I don't think I've ever got double figures off him. Okay. So it was, it was a big game for me tonight playing Ashley. Um, but I, I managed to get a good lead on him early doors. Then he came back at me. I've just got out 18 against him. As you said, the game with Gary. And then obviously in the final, yeah, I got after a few, put him under pressure. But that's my style, you know. I like to get after a few. And, and I like to give the crowd a bit of enjoyment. You know, it's what it's all about. You've got to entertain and sometimes you've got to have fun because, you know, life's too short. That's it. And what we've seen tonight is we've had a good crowd tonight, probably our best crowd at the Pussy Classic and I think everyone's really enjoyed themselves especially semi-final and final getting after a few and it's always to make the, the event a bit better isn't it get, yeah. make it more we had a good crowd but a fair crowd as well yeah. which is pleasing because yeah. sometimes you know, I'm not saying here or, or anywhere in particular but sometimes the crowd can just go like, a little bit over the top but tonight we've had a good and fair crowd you're a Yorkshireman now playing for the Lord oh, I don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> ok thanks very much Carl. thank uh, you very Carl, much all yeah. the best anyway cheers. cheers thank you so there we have the final of the 2011 Pudsey Classic. A great performance by Callum Ray, beating Matt Jones, who's played well all night in an excellent final. The showman, the true showman, came out on top tonight and entertained a fantastic crowd at Pudsey Bowling Club. Hope you enjoy watching this. It's been our first venture with the cameras at Pudsey Bowling Club, but I hope there'll be more to come in the future. Good night.